All right, what is up guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. Hopefully you just watched the previous video on how to do the overhead press and you took some things from that that you can implement in your training ASAP. Uh, with this video, we're covering five mistakes I see all the time when it comes to overhead press. So I guarantee you if you tidy these up, you're gonna have a more efficient and a stronger, more stable uh, press, okay? so. Let's get right to mistake number one. All right guys, tip number one. I see this all the time and it's a huge mistake that a lot of you are probably making that we need to correct right now. And that's pressing the bar around our face and our body, okay? It's just very inefficient when it comes to bar path uh, and we wanna tidy this up. So the way we can correct this right away, guys, is when we're in that rack position, we're just gonna tuck our chin backwards, so taking our head and literally moving it backwards towards the wall, making a double chin-like face. And then from there, what we're gonna do is just press the bar as close to our face as possible, creating a straight line and getting into that overhead position. You're gonna find that's gonna feel a lot more comfortable, you're gonna be a lot stronger and a lot more stable, okay? So when we're doing the press, we're trying to save and conserve as much energy as possible. Uh, and by doing this and keeping that straight bar path, it's gonna just be a way better press. All right, so mistake number two, similar to number one, but there is a difference, is that we're pressing the bar out and away from us, okay? And I see this a lot, uh, and it's something that we wanna correct just because, once again, efficiency and being stronger in the press. So, when we're doing that, all right, what this looks like is we're pressing the bar away from us, so on an angle, okay? So you guys can see that. I'm basically almost bench press, it's like an incline press, off of my body, all right? And going back to what we said earlier, if we're holding that bar out in front of us like so, it's gonna be just zapping all of our muscles, all right? And not putting us in the strongest position possible. So when we do this, we wanna make sure that we are getting the bar directly overhead, okay? And holding it there, uh, just because we are bone to bone structure, all right? so. Obviously get your face out of the way, but for this one, we want to stop pressing outward and press straight up. All right, mistake number three, my friends, is not controlling the eccentric portion of the overhead press. All right, chances are you're actually probably missing out on some gains uh, that we could be getting by controlling the overhead press eccentric. So we're up over our head, okay? What I see often is a lot of people just drop the bar straight down and they try cranking it out. So first tip is obviously control the eccentric on the way down, okay? You're probably gonna get some gains from there because we're just controlling the weight as we're lowering it. Uh, and then also we're being a lot more stable and under control, right? Versus when we drop it down. When we drop it down like this, chances are it can pull us forward. The bar is gonna lose bar path. So when we're up here, just bring it down under control, get reset, collect yourself, press straight back up, okay? So here and up, we don't need to be trying to bounce and get those, those reps all over the place and just losing stability. So stay tight, control the eccentric on the way down. And mistake number four is partial range of motion. We, <laughs> we saw this in a lot of the old 80 bodybuilder montages where they're just here, right? Pumping these reps out, just like so getting that shoulder pump like crazy. But now we know guys, okay, evidence supported. Full range of motion is better, okay? So all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up every single time. Now I know this bar is a little bit light. Once I add weight, I actually get that bar to touch my collarbone. You guys should really strive to do that. Over time, you will be able to if you can now. Uh, just gonna help stretch and put the bar on your collarbone. But yeah, guys, there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting full range of motion on all of our lifts, okay? If you're looking for better muscular development, if you're looking to get stronger, full range of motion is hands down the best way to do that. So quit doing those partials and those like miniature machine gun reps and get that full range of motion every single time. All right, fifth and final tip is leaning too far back in the press. And I'm not gonna lie, you see this a lot in strongman, but my argument is why wouldn't you just do uh, an incline bench press at that point, right? Uh, we're no longer being as efficient as possible. And dare I say, we're putting a lot of stress on the hips and the low back, which is just kind of unnecessary. So 
When we're doing the press, okay, we wanna stay as upright as possible. A slight lean is okay, but I'm talking about when you literally see people with a complete arch in their back and they are basically doing a standing uh, incline bench press, okay? So for me, I like to keep myself upright. I do lean a little bit back, but it's more a shift of my hips coming forward, okay? So there's a difference there versus my hips not moving and me leaning back just with my torso. All right, so that's what we wanna work on uh, correcting by staying as upright as we can uh, and just delivering a really nice, smooth uh, overhead press, utilizing the shoulders and the proper muscles and not putting our hips and our lower back into it too much. All right, my friends, there are five overhead press mistakes that hopefully you're avoiding. You can tidy up to just give yourself a more efficient, more stable, and a stronger overhead press. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and that's pretty much all we got guys. Make sure you like it, subscribe, share it with people that you know, implementing your training ASAP, uh, but that's it. So until then guys, stay a lean, mean, strength machine. Catch you guys next time, peace.